Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy 13 walkthrough. Uh, we are still in the... Uh, is this the Pulse Vestige, I think? I can't remember the name of this area. My bad, sorry. I'm horror bad. Yeah, Pulse Vestige. I was right there. So this is the Foul Sea. Sarah's a crystal now. You gave her a focus, and she did it. You got what you want. Now let her go! Please, turn her back. I'll be your listening instead! Fine. You go on begging, like this thing gives a damn what we want! Lightning! It's this thing's fault the purge started, and it's people who are dying. Sarah told us to save Cocoon. That means this thing needs to die. <laughs> now you really think you can kill a falsy i'm doing this for sarah dodge i'm in as long as you don't mind an amateur i got these things might as well use them thanks All right, so it's time to take on the Falsy Anima. Oh, interesting uh, uh, name, I suppose. Uh, being that I've literally just finished my uh, Final Fantasy X walkthrough. Uh, the the idea here between or behind this uh, fight is to take down the the manipulators first, and then uh, work on Anima, and then uh, the. Uh, the manipulators will be uh, regenerated, though, so uh, you, you'll have to repeat the process a couple of times in order to to finally beat it. All right, yeah. So there you go. So there they've regenerated. Uh, but yeah, not too difficult of a fight. It seems to me that the manipulators actually don't like specifically target your characters it's almost like they just do uh you know pick spots and then if your characters just happen to be in the way they get hit but uh i don't know anyways if you need to use a potion i think i had to use one there maybe two i don't know but uh, other than that i mean it, to, to be honest this isn't really a difficult fight it's uh it's more just uh, making sure you're using your, you know, potions and then taking down these, the manipulators. And then here my targeting got a little bit wonky here, so I attacked Anima a couple of times extra instead of this manipulator, but that was alright. Not the end of the world. <coughs> alright, so that should be it. This should be the initial, or the, the final heave ho. Take him down. 
Uh, but yeah, anyway, so... What was the story here? Basically, Lightning is angry that the Felsi turned Sarah into a... Let's see, so she attacks it. see a future and I was afraid when the future was clear and it hurt to see I'd just close my eyes and lose myself in happier days okay so uh, that was kind of crazy uh, anyways all right so the main crew here uh, all gets turned into the sea and it seemed like the Falsy actually, I don't know, turned to crystal itself? So, I don't know, maybe I'm not reading that correctly, but that sure seemed like that was how that went down. Uh, but anyways, here we've got, okay, so this is day 11, the seaside city of Bodom. So this is obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but this happened in the past. So it's kind of like, you know, a short little flashback. And I think this happens a couple of times in the game. How'd that happen? Don't know, Destiny? More like dumb luck. Let's go find him. Excuse me. See you around. You know. No, but I want to. Uh, you just missed her. She said she'd be at the usual place. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry about that. Now, who'd you say you were looking for? <laughs> Here goes. Making a wish? <laughs> Maybe I was. I was hoping that tomorrow I can tell my sister. Mm. She'll be so mad, knowing I hid it from her. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take the blame for you. You know, you should ask for something bigger. These are wish-granting fireworks, like in the stories. Stories, huh?
You see who fulfill their focus. They become crystal and gain eternal life. <sighs> Would help if they gave you some clue about what you're supposed to do. <sighs> we'll figure this thing out. You will never be one of those monsters. <sighs> so what will I be? A crystal? Yesterday at the store, I got us something. I don't know much about jewelry, but I hope you like it. I will stand by you, no matter what happens. I'm yours forever. Sarah. My one, my only. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love these fireworks. They granted my wish. Your wish? Before I asked you to marry me, I wish that you would say yes. Then maybe they'll grant mine too. What's that? To have the courage to tell Lightning that I've become a lassie. Hey, our engagement is way bigger news. Man, I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> She'll be my new sister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Snow. <laughs> Man, so many cutscenes. There's another one coming up right here, too, but uh, I think we'll have a little commentary then afterwards. Is 
this for real? This must be Lake Brescia. Well, I guess we fell from up there. And the lake turned to crystal? Help me out here. I mean, did the foul sea do this? How in the world did we end up here? How should I know? Uh, we're alive. How? Sarah! No one survives a fall from that high. Not without a miracle. Sarah saved us! Sarah? Listen. It's all your fault. She got... Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Watch out! <laughs> What did I just do? You used magic. Uh, uh. You used the power of the sea. The foul sea cursed us. We're the sea now. All right, so we are cursed by the Lassie and uh, are able to use magic. Apparently, that's the uh, that's the prereq for using magic. Uh, and here we finally, <clears throat> excuse me, we finally got our rolls unlocked. So uh, you can see right next to Lightning's name there. Um, she's Commando. Snow is Ravager, and Vanilla is Ravager as well. And uh, right now we've only got two paradigms set up, and that's so that's a paradigm. That's uh, basically a uh, a set combination of, of your characters and their roles. Um, you can you can make your own, and we'll actually customize a couple here in the in the uh, oh, I suppose right after this right after this fight's over. But um, uh, relentless assault and solidarity are the first two that they uh, I guess automatically give you or uh, have set up for you I should say uh, relentless assault is one of the more useful ones throughout the game that is uh, probably I would say the most used uh, of all of the the paradigms now solidarity all right so solidarity is commando sentinel and medic and that's that's an okay one um, I don't use that as much as actually a lot of other ones uh, so basically what it is is Snow ends up being a sentinel and he's gonna tank basically for you and uh, so he'll he'll take the brunt of most of the damage and then Vanille is set to uh, medic in that solidarity paradigm and then Lightning is set to commando. <clears throat> uh, the good thing about that is obviously it, um, it actually reduces your damage overall just by having Snow as a sentinel um, not only, you know, not only does he actually uh, taunt or will he taunt enemies for you, but uh, just having a sentinel as a paradigm, like, o reduces your overall damage. Oh. Oh. So we really are, let's see. Uh. <sighs> oh, looks like it. You too? Yep. Right here. Okay. Let's see to the last. <sighs> Why me? I don't even know you. Will you have to go and attack that thing? <clears throat> Just leave me alone. It's your fault. It's your fault, my... You could have... This is your and Sarah's fault. Watch it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, everything is going to be all right. You'll see. Come on. Off we go.
the sea, huh? Yep. We're all playing for Team Pulse now. Ugh, why me? <laughs> why me? All right, so uh, one thing I noticed uh, in this area here is, uh, you know, and un unfortunately, uh, there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do about it, but uh, there's a lot of, like, banter uh, between the characters as you're just kind of covering ground. And so they'll just randomly, you know, have a line or two to say. And, uh, you know, that. so unfortunately, if you're just watching this as a, as a walkthrough, you're probably not going to be able to catch a lot of that stuff. But, um, you know, it's, it's usually... Eh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, you know, I was going to say it's usually not plot... Uh, relevant stuff, but sometimes it is, you know, so again, unfortunately, uh, there's not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do about that. I, you know, I could say that I'll try to do my best not to talk over them, but uh, I just, I don't know where all those, those spots are. So, you know, unfortunately, you're going to miss a little bit of, uh, I guess, the feel of the game just because of that, you know, um, but, you know, I guess you just have to kind of, kind of deal <laughs> But, uh, all right, so I'm making up a couple of of paradigms here. I'm not sure how useful uh, the, those ones ended up being. The, for the most part, the, the paradigms that they have set up are fairly decent. Uh, one other really good one, though, and I actually like it more than Solidarity, is the Commando Ravager Medic. I think it's Diversity. And uh, that one is actually fairly useful. It, it uh, you know, one person heals while your other two maintain the chain gauge as well as still increase it so i don't know i i like it okay if we don't know our focus how do we complete it uh, i think i saw it saw what that is how a focus comes down people the foul sea they don't spell it out with clear-cut instructions. All you get is a hazy glimpse. Mm hmm Well, you know, that's what they say. You know, legends and all. You know, the legends. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see anything? <sighs> I, uh... I just... It's all kind of foggy, but... I saw this big... I mean, towering... What? What? Wait a minute. Hold on now. Do we all have the same dream? Ragnarok. Ragnarok. So, we all saw the same dream. We all heard that same voice. You mean that was our focus? But how are we supposed to know what to do from that? Mm -hmm. That's the tricky part. The dream's the only hint the Falsi gives us. Figuring out what to do with it, that's our job. Okay, okay. We're pulseless -y, right? Enemies of Cocoon. So, does that mean that our focus is... Are we supposed to... Save her. Say what? Our focus is to protect Cocoon. Really? Okay. And why's that? Sarah told us. Let's do it. We're all in this together. I'm gonna look for Sarah. She ought to be nearby. Uh, I'll come too! Wait! Jeez. Yeah, that boy can't stay still. Really? All right, so as the story goes here, um, when Lacy get their focus from uh, a falsy, they don't know what it is. Um, and there's a time limit before you turn into a Seath. So uh, obviously that, uh, <laughs> that is where the, the um, I guess, worry about this whole situation is coming from. Uh, and then on top of that, maybe one interesting thing is that 
uh, when when the Falci does uh, turn uh, somebody into a Lassie, there's uh, a vision. And apparently all of our characters have had the same vision, so that would sure mean that they all have the same focus. So uh, I guess that's the, uh, the, the short version of all the uh, different stuff that's happened. Um, now on to what we're actually doing here now. All right, so we're... Uh, we're cruising around in the Crystarium. Uh, this is a, a fairly easy way of of leveling. Um, gosh, you know, when it comes right down to it, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of, um, I don't know, customization, I suppose I'd say, in, uh, in the leveling process. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world. But uh, just know that the way the Crystarium works is that you get so many points and... Um, you know, you travel along these these paths until you learn, you know, different abilities and uh, or stat increases. Now, see here, we're at a, a crossroads where I could go up here towards this HP plus 20%, uh, or I could have continued on to the other HP node, I suppose you could call it. <clears throat> now, um, you know, unfortunately... Again, there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, customization, I would say. Uh, and that's my only real gripe about this whole system is, is just that, uh, you know, there, there is, there's kind of, it's almost like an illusion of choice. Um, you know, yeah, you can, you can take this fork now or in, you know, five minutes later, you can, you know, go the other way. I don't know. It, I guess when it comes right down to it, again, there, there isn't a whole lot of, you know, choice as far as how you level up. I mean, there's a little bit, uh, like, you know, if you want to order up, or, uh, sorry, uh, level up your commando role first and then your ravager. Now, the one thing, though, and they, they explain it fairly well in the tutorial, is that uh, the stat nodes, so like the strength, HP, MP, or sorry, um, magic, not MP, there's no MP in this game, um, but, uh, you know, again, HP, strength, magic, all those like statistic uh, nodes, those apply across all of your uh, roles, not just one or the other. Now, the abilities, on the other hand, those are role specific. So, like uh, Ruin, well, uh, that is a commando ability that will only ever be used by your when your character is in the commando mode or role. You'll never be able to use Ruin while you're a Ravager. So, I guess keep that in mind. It's probably not all that important, but. Uh, just know that I suppose that is how it that is how it all goes down now uh, the Crystarium uh, is you're kind of limited in in your in your Crystarium right at the beginning well I mean throughout the entire game basically it, you've got like tiers of Crystarium development and I would say that this is like tier one tier two will unlock you know I don't know an hour from now or something like that uh, and that's it's um, based on where you're at in, in the storyline. So I guess just keep that in mind. You are unfortunately going to be uh, limited in your character's stat development. So uh, that being said, there isn't that much reason to go way out of your way to do a bunch of extra leveling because, you know, unfortunately, yeah, you will be able to bank the, the CP, the points, but, um, you know, you won't, you won't be able to use them until that next portion of the grid comes out. So I guess just keep that in mind. Uh, anyways, I got to cut this video here. So like, comment, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do. Hope this guide's helpful, though. And I uh, hope you join me for more. All right. Thanks for watching.